Jamia Wilson, thank you so much for having the pleasure for us to have you in this uh, uh, great uh, UNESCO forum. Please, could you introduce yourself for us to get to know you better? Thank you so much for having me. My name is Jamia Wilson. I am living in New York City and Manhattan specifically. I'm a vice president and executive editor at Random House. I'm also an author and a podcaster and a speaker and a feminist in all that I do. Thank you. Um, why is International Women's Rights Day so important to you? I love the month of March because that day of celebrating all the contributions that women have made since the beginning of humankind is deeply important because so much of our contributions are left out of the conversation, undermined and ignored. So although we should be celebrating gender justice and we should be celebrating women every day, I do like that we have a moment where we are collectively coming together to, to bear witness to the impact of women worldwide, but then also to think about ways we can incorporate that spirit of International Women's Day into everything we do, every moment, every minute, every day. So in your work, um, how do you promote women's rights? I believe that I have a specific lens that I can't unsee for seeing the world around equity and equality being the goal. I look for messages around justice, around equity and equality in everything that I read, everything that I consider as an editor. I want to understand if a book will promote empathy, which I think is something that will further justice in the world and further liberation for all people. I want to consider if a book will move people to action, to take a stand, to be courageous, to inspire others to be courageous. And I also want to consider if a book will capture people's thoughts and imaginations about ways we can remake the world, how we can solve big problems, how we can have new ideas, create bigger dreams, newer dreams to make the world more inclusive for all. And in my writing, I look for the same thing. I often say, especially in the children's books that I write, that I write the books that I needed growing up. And I think about what's missing. What is the book that could have made me feel less alone in the world. And then I think about how to bring that book into existence. So it means that, um, you know, in your willingness to promote women's rights, there is creativity, there's also fiction playing a role. Absolutely. I love the idea of the imagination and have read a great deal about the imagination, what it means and the, what it means to dream, what it means to ponder a vision for something better and grander than what we know. When I think of my own personal history, I think of the fact that my family, uh, the majority of my African ancestors were brought to what is now known as America through slavery. And one of the most horrible parts of that peculiar institution was that slaves were not allowed to read because the enslavers knew how powerful it would be for slaves to be able to have access to education. Uh, it really showed that they understood that there wasn't this inferiority that they were perpetuating in, in their rhetoric um, and that they would, would keep people from reading really um, is something that I think about a great deal when I've gotten to explore what it means to create books and now be able to be on the editorial side of determining what kinds of books are out there. And so the reason why I believe fiction is so important to me is I think about how my ancestors had to have an imagination bigger than what they could see in front of them, many generations bigger than what they could see in front of them, and to think about what it would be like to talk to them and say, not only am I reading books, I'm writing them and editing them and publishing them. So that's why fiction's important to me because it's an opportunity for us to create worlds, to rethink the one we're in. And Gloria Steinem, who's been a great mentor and friend in my life, has said very famous, famously that dreaming is a form of planning. And so that's another reason I like fiction because Fiction allows for us to explore our human truths uh, in a way that 
creates a detachment that can allow us to be bigger and less myopic. Excellent. Thank you very much. Another question for you would be, uh, do you think women should really be active in the process of peace education? Oh, I love that you asked me this question right now. I'm working on a children's book about the history of movements for young people and student-led movements and youth-led movements. And one of the topics I was researching over the weekend was about the history of young people in movements for peace around the world. And thinking about how even right now, as we speak, there are young people in the Young Peace Builders Coalition in the UN working together to talk about how we can create peace because they really understand that they have a role in shaping the future, not only for themselves, but for generations. They're being good ancestors for the next generation as they are growing as young people. And I believe that that's rooted in feminism because to me, feminism is about freedom and liberation and equity and equality for all people. So that idea of being able to imagine a world where we can live in collaboration, interdependence and partnership versus domination and competition and violence. Beautiful. Any advice you would like to give to young generations that are looking at us tonight? I want to ask young people who may be listening tonight to go forth toward your vision. Take the step, even if you don't see an example of what you believe might be possible, to continue to go for it. When I think of my own career and my own dreams, there were so many things people told me that I couldn't do or that could not be done because they hadn't seen it done yet. And I want you to defy my imagination and other people's imaginations around what we thought could not be done, what we thought was impossible, what we thought we could not see. I want you to actualize and bring to life what you know is our rightful present and our future. And I believe in you that you will make that happen. So if you have a vision for something, go and chase that vision. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anyone who doesn't get it yet stop you. I promise once they see what you're able to bring forth, then they'll come on board. And if they don't, it might take some time, but just because they don't get it doesn't mean that it's not righteous and that it's not true. Beautiful. Thank you for such a powerful message for Women's Rights Day. Uh, thank you again for taking the time to answer the questions and all the best in the wonderful work you're doing. Thank you so much.